right, it's Mocha Don is right, and I'm Mocha Don, and I just thought I'd check in here in the last hour of the last day of a leap year. So it's February 29th, about 11, 12 p.m., and I was looking at the uh, Donner Pass uh, snow cam or whatever, the highway cam for Donner Pass, and we're we're 38 degrees here in Reno. We're getting rain, and we had some hellacious winds the other day. It, it blew up a, a cover for the little two-person seat I have out on the front, that cover, that uh, cushion is mm. gone. That cushion has disappeared into the sky, never to return, because we had about 75-mile-an-hour gusts. But let's uh, let's see what's going on at Dunner Summit at about 70, 250 feet-ish, something like that. And there it is, and what do you know? We've got uh, lots of snow and wind. You see that camera's shaking from the wind. And trucks are going slow, and I can't see any of the pavement on I-80 at all. It's completely covered in snow. So you can bet there are chain controls up and everything else for your safety. But I wouldn't want to be traveling on I-80, and apparently I'm not the only one because uh, that's not much traffic for I-80, even on a Thursday night. So basically, I was thinking about the Donner Party. If you're not familiar with the Donner Party in the 1800s, they were headed headed west in their covered wagons. They got stuck in the snow at Donner Summit, and I believe that they had to cannibalize each other, presumably the ones that had frozen to death. Not a whole lot of them made it out of there. The bottom line is you've got to be prepared for whatever circumstances you're in. They say 2024 is going to be a very interesting year, a year of unusual politics. Um, I start to wonder if they're going to assassinate Donald Trump and what kind of uprisings we might have from that. But also Macron and Biden are being idiots dealing with Vladimir Putin. And so he's literally letting them know that he's willing to go to nuclear war. That's not a good thing. Uh, But if we had a nuclear war, we would have an EMP attack for sure. That's kind of part of the protocol to disable command and control. So the power would all be out. More than likely, the water wouldn't be flowing. What would you do? I did the easy prepping video last weekend. And the easy prepping video went over like the five things you need to do to survive just seven days without having to leave your house. Just seven days. And you can do it in very little space and you can do it in an apartment and you can do it no matter how poor you are. But surprisingly, the vast, vast majority of people, like they say it's 95%, but I think it's more like 99%, couldn't uh, shelter in place for seven days in their own home. So we've got the potential political unrest resulting from the rotten things that I think they're going to probably try to do to Donald Trump. And I personally think they've run out of options. They may assassinate him. By the way, that's why Nikki Haley is sticking in the the race, right? She's waiting for her buds to kill off Donald Trump. Then we've got the Vladimir Putin issue. Then we've got, uh, I believe we're going to have a recession. I don't think it's going to be a particularly serious or bad recession, but I think we are going to have a recession. Then we've got the immigration problem where all these illegal immigrants are turning up everywhere. And a lot of these people are not good people. Donald Trump has that dialed exactly in. The best people are not the ones crossing the border. Although I'm sure a majority of the people crossing the border are probably good, hardworking people just looking to improve their circumstances. They bring with them drugs, either voluntarily or involuntarily, because they're forced to do it. And they they bring with them certain diseases that are more common in the tropical parts of South America. And they bring with them a lot of criminals and crazy people who are being released from the prisons down there and sent north because they don't want to pay to feed them and keep them locked up. And so uh, it's a political failure of the Biden administration if they were even trying. I personally think it's part of their grand plan you're going to have some issues with immigration because there are millions of them now. And, it, and it's going to be a problem, especially when we have a recession. The state of California is now having, is now $79 billion or something in deficit. They're, they're looking at horrible deficits and Gavin Newsom hasn't done a damn thing about it. 
The state is on the precipice of a, essentially a bankruptcy, but a state is a sovereign and they can't file for bankruptcy protection. There are no rules for that. I can promise you Donald Trump won't be bailing them out. I wouldn't be too terribly surprised if um, Joe Biden was to bail them out, but who knows? In any case, the bottom line is that it's not going to be a good situation. And that's just how it is. So it, it's going to be a really interesting year. Gun control is uh, becoming a big issue because, to be honest, the government doesn't want you to be armed. The, when the Bruin decision came down almost two years ago now, I think it was um, June of 22, and basically said you have a right to carry a gun outside of your home. Everybody got all upset about that. Of course, we've had Heller in 2008, and then we had McDonald, I think was 2010, then we had Catano, I think it was like 2016 or 18. And then in 22, we had, we had Bruin. Heller, McDonald, Catano, and Bruin have all now, four separate decisions have said, you have a right to be armed. And they define... Basically, any, any kind of arm in common use, and the AR-15 is the most common rifle in America. Everybody has an AR-15 for good reason. That apparently upsets a lot of governors because they're thinking about how they're going to control you. They're thinking about when you and them disagree, they plan on doing whatever they want with you, and they don't plan on you resisting. This has got to be the plan. There is no other explanation for their behavior. I'm not sure why they're bringing in mostly young military age males. I'm not sure why they're doing that in the immigration, but we could be getting terrorist attacks because of our general support for Israel, although Biden's done a poor job of supporting Israel. He's starting to backpedal, but we, we, have, we could have Hamas uh, terror cells here in the country. Who knows what the summer of 2024 is going to bring with campaigns in full swing, a recession probably just getting underway. We could be attacked by Russia. We could be in a situation where there's more lawlessness. Anything apparently will set off, you know, this burn the neighborhood down mentality. And you need to be prepared for that. Watch my video, Easy Prepping. It's very short and... If you can't stay in your house for seven days without needing to go out, you're in a world of trouble. If you're unarmed and you don't own a gun, you're in a world of trouble. I'm not saying you have to be a commando, but damn. What are you going to do when some big guy's trying to push his way through your door or through your window? You've got to have a gun. A gun is the great equalizer. And then I'm very concerned about really the decay of morality in our society. Uh, there is no morality in our society. We're literally arresting the law-abiding and punishing them while we release the unlawful criminals with no bail. It's the damnedest thing. I can't explain it. Maybe you can. Put something in the comments. Let me know what you think is the rationale behind this. But I have a hard time believing it's just incidental, uh, circumstantial kind of stuff. I tend to think there's a plan to disrupt this society. We know that the global warming argument now has been completely debunked. It's, it's total sophistry and being in, you know, been used as propaganda for a long, long time. So it's debunked. We know the January 6th thing is complete bunk. It's propaganda. We know that was a protest with a very small number of violent actors. We know that the election was dishonest, that it was not uh, a well-run election, that the election laws were changed unconstitutionally. Courts have held that. You know, no one's going to go back and reverse the election, but who knows? I, I honestly, I think Donald Trump probably would have won, but who actually knows who would have won? Because we don't care who our state representatives and senators are. We don't have any real control of the Electoral College. So perhaps we should pay attention to who we elect to our state houses and senates. It seems like we're headed for another one of those kind of elections. We'll see. I'm not going to have those problems in Reno, even though we're run by a Democrat city council and a Democrat city mayor. 
Uh, and those those are basically nonpartisan offices, which are which means you can hide Democrats and get them elected. We need to do some more research on that. It's going to be an interesting summer. I hope you're all prepared for it. I'm in Reno where they we still put our criminals in jail. We still jail criminals. We still catch and arrest people. We don't do the zero bail thing here. Uh, I mean, unless it's really a minor offense. But I mean, if you're a criminal, you can't stick up a liquor store and end up getting out the next day. That doesn't work here. So we're in pretty good shape. Nevada's very well armed. Approximately uh, 20% of our shootings are ruled self-defense at the scene. So you can still shoot people in self-defense here in Reno. I don't know about Clark County in Las Vegas, but Reno is fairly liberal. The rest of Nevada is solid red. So you've basically got the folks down south in Clark County that swing the elections, and you've got Reno, which is it's, it's really purple. It's about 50-50. But our Democrats are sent more sensible. They have been more sensible with their views. They're not the radicals. They're not the Pelosi leftists. So I think uh, we're in pretty good shape here. But if you're in California, unless you're in like Rockland or one of the very conservative areas, God help you. Really, God help you. If you're in Colorado, God help you. If you're in uh, Western Oregon, anywhere near Portland, God help you. Same for Washington and Seattle area. God help you. But uh, try to keep it out of the news because God help you. If you shoot the wrong race or the wrong gender, you're going to be in lots of trouble. Anyway, God bless. Thanks for watching the show. You have a great evening. Take care.